I was born to be a gamer Born to play some Pokemon Born to be a gamer Born to be the very best Well, not really Born to be a gamer Pokemon Hey guys, my Crypto Dork here, welcome back to Pocket Monsters Blue Uh, let's talk to this guy Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move I can't remember what move cuts down stuff though. Huh. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Say hey, bye. Two forests don't want intelligent. Yeah, this is the kind of thing he's talking about. Uh, so yeah, oh. Okay. Who, who do I have in the front of the line? I'm the, I think one of my Pokemon's dying. That'd be Pidgey. Oh yeah, I caught a Caterpie. Oh, uh, screw Caterpie. Uh, so yeah, today I think I'm going to um go ahead and face off against the first gym leader, Brock, because with um with Squirtle he should be no problem actually. Oh wow, critical hit. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to a uh, Squirtle. Or just maybe level him up slightly. I don't think that should be a problem. I think level 10 is fine. Uh, well, uh, just, just get him a little bit more experience in case he levels up fighting the Rattata. <laughs> uh, it's bubble him. Oh yeah, I'm level 10. He's level 30. I should be a one shot. No? Okay. I should be there now. Trainer tips and battle of the XP. Right. Oh, hey, you. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers. But Peter's Jim Brock is Peter Jim's Brock. <laughs> Peter's Jim Brock. <laughs> Peter Jim's Brock is totally into it. That's that's nice. All right, let's heal up these guys. What is that thing? Looks like a fat Pikachu. We haven't seen a Pikachu yet. Um. Actually, here's an interesting thing. Uh, you don't have to see them, them uh, Pokemon in the wild, but in order to see them here, obviously, as shown by Bulbasaur, you can actually um, find them anywhere. So, for example, um, that's not a good example. Cause I only saw Kakuna in a trainer battle, so um, area. See, so you can still check all his stuff. So I can find him up up there if I need to, um, but I don't. Uh, that's a Jigglypuff. I thought it was its evolution. <laughs> that thing is so ugly. <laughs> it looks like Jigglypuff's evolution. Then again, I don't think that that's in this game. It could be. I don't know. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. I think when you talk to him, he says something different. Like before, um, you, you uh, make it sing. Hold on. I just love how it's saying poo. Uh. Nah. He says something different if you talk to him before, so I could probably just leave right now. And. Ooh, shady old man! What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone! Scram! Oh, what a dick. Yeah, you know, let's actually check on the PC. There was one of these in every um, Pokemon Center, but since this one looks different from like all the other games, kind of I kind of forget. I uh, see so you can check someone's PC, which uh, someone is the Pokemon storage system. Always, so you can deposit um, Pokemon if you need to, and then you can withdraw them. Uh, you can even release Pokemon, but that'd be stupid. So you can access your PC, uh, where, where you can actually um. De um do that with items now. That's cool. Well, that's why I had a potion in my thing at home. And with Professor Oak, um, he can actually rate your Pokedex. Pokedex completion is eight Pokemon seen, three Pokemon owned. Still have lots to do. So don't do it. Look for Pokemon in grassy areas. I don't know what that sound was. Um, yeah, bugger. No, sir. 
uh, let's somehow you can access all sorts of stuff from one PC. I don't know how computers work back. This is the 80s. This is the 90s, actually. 90s Kanto. Oh, the horror. Uh, so yes, uh, let's actually, hold on. I think they should sell, uh, let's see what these guys have to say. Shady old man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs $500. So if we see a shitty old man trying to sell us a fish Pokemon for $500, we should not take it. Good things will happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. Or should we? Hi there, may I help you? It's nice talking to them. So yeah, you can actually buy potions now, and escape ropes. Which, that's foreshadowing, so we'll need those in just a little bit. But yeah, there's this guy. Did you check out the museum? Uh, no I did not. Really? You absolutely have to go. So now, he, he takes you against your will. It's right here. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. Honestly, it's just wasting money. You don't get anything out of it. I don't think. Oh, really? Forces you to go in. Oh, well, we're here. Please, go to the other side. Yeah. It's $50 for a child's ticket. I'm no child, sir. I have no child. Oh, uh, would you like to come in? Oh, we have tons of money. I, I won't waste it all here like I did in yellow. Because, uh, I can. Don't step out, though. Cause, or talk to him again. Because I don't want to do anything. So, yeah, you can look at this stuff. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Aerodactyl fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. I don't... You get certain fossils in this game that you can turn into Pokemon. I'm not really sure where you do that, though. That is one magnificent fossil. Dang right. And that is... Kabudot's fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. Wow, okay. There are also some... I thought those were pictures, my bad. They're arrows. There are... Yeah, there's more stuff up here. We have a space exhibition now. That's cool. Uh, meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone. Uh, okay. Moonstone? What's so special about it? Hmm. July 20th, 1969! It was the summer of 69. The first lunar landing? I bought a color TV to watch it. Oh. References to life. I want a Pikachu! So cute! Ask my daddy to catch me one. Well, did you? Brock. He looks like Brock. Let's go, Brock's bright. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. Pikachu's are pussies, I'm gonna evolve it into a Raichu. No, it's gonna say Pikachu, Pikachu forever. No, but, but I got you this Pichu. Okay, it'll evolve when I make it happy. Why are you happy? And it never gets happy. Space Shuttle Columbia. I don't know the point of that, that's never referenced again. Looks like the real thing. Take plenty of time to look. No, I'm out. So yeah, that was my trip in this uh, funeral museum of science. So now, let us go and take on Brock of the Peter Gym. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. They appeared after Moonstone, not the Moonstone, after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Nice. But yes, Peter City Pokemon Gym, Leader Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer. Nice. Uh, so in each gym there are trainers before it though, so I think here you can just pass right over them. Hiya! I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ! I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Okay, they won't actually. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon is out, out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, matches could be made easier. Thank you so much. So yeah, you can skip over these guys. I'm actually going to fight them because it'll get me more EXP. I didn't think that before, actually. So yeah, I probably will level up. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. Uh, Alright, so now i got Junior Trainer, male. They said that. Diglett! Oh, I want a Diglett! Oh, it's a level. Uh, that's no problem, though. Who can just bubble this thing? Super effective! Yeah, so that's the thing. He's faster than me, though. How does he scratch? 
It makes no sense. He has no arms. Or even feet for that matter. Or hands, that is. I don't know what he was trying to do and why he didn't attack first that time. Critical and super effective. Ah, uh, you, you want that. You just do. And... Level 11! So I should be leveling up every match at this point. I might not even have to. Oh, wait, no. I forgot he has multiple. No, I would not. Stand true. Koopa Kami Man is gonna... Koopa Kami Man, actually. He's Jamaican. He's gonna get so much um, experience from this. Ah, oh, sand trees are cool, too. There are cooler ground Pokemon than there are rock. Good thing that water is super effective against both. Uh, grass is also, so if you chose Bulbasaur, it would be fine. Uh, but yeah. Ah, level 12. Jesus Christ. See, like, fighting Pokemon that are higher level, or even the same level as you, just awesome. Light years measure doesn't measure time, it measures distance! Yeah. I still don't know what he meant when he means by that. Oh, there was one! Uh... It's actually... No. I don't know if he's gonna crit me. He could crit me, so I'm just gonna waste that. I can buy more. Now. Alright, so let's go ahead and face off against Brock. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I can't see, though. I'm blind. I believe in rock-hard defense. <laughs> Determination. I meant being inappropriate, I'm sorry. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. And the ground type. You still want to challenge me? Can I choose no? Fine, then. Show me your best. I didn't say anything. So I said no. He's not wearing a shirt, by the way. In the anime he is, but he's not here. And in Pokemon Yellow. Barack wants to fight. Is there a color in Pokemon Yellow? Look from the Game Boy Color. Well, no, I don't think it was, actually. I don't know how Pokemon Yellow works. All I know is it has colors, and these don't, and they're all on the Game Boy. Alright, now, we're gonna end this thing. Geodude has a freaking Mohawk or something. Uh, not a Mohawk, a mullet. He's like my hairstyle that I have now. Super effective! So using Tackle won't work on him, or it won't do much, because, uh, Rock types have a defense to normal types, but they're not necessarily strong against normal types, either, the moves. But, like, most of his Pokemon are also ground types, which both Rock and Ground are strong against, uh, Fire, so you'll have a tough time if you're being strong and So, you'll probably want to evolve him all the way up to 14, where he learns Metal Claw, uh, after he evolves. Uh, so yeah, level 13. I will not. I can take your Onyx. Oh, it's level 14, I forgot. I don't care. I can take him. I'm gonna be so big by the end of this. That my defense? What if I lowered your defense? Huh, no, I don't need to. Screw that. Hit me with your best shot. Huh. Loser. That was Brock. Squirtle makes Brock so easy. Though, I'm gonna get owned later if I don't catch some Pokemon. Level 14. Aw. Oh, Gary beat Brock. I took you for granted. That's probably why Gary in the anime was always so ahead of Ash, because Squirtle's so OP. And I got the Boulder Badge! And I should be getting cut, right? No, I got Rock Smash. That's an official Pokemon League badge! It's Barrett's Pokemon become more powerful. I don't see how, but okay. The Technique Flash can now be used at any time. If you have a Pokemon that knows Flash, that is. I think, I don't know. Gary got a lot of money for winning. Wait, take this with you. Gary received TM34. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. Only some people can use it though. And that's Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle and then pay it back double. The thing is, you can only use it once. Um, what am I doing? So, uh, they should be in your items. There's no organization in your items here. There is in later games. Uh, so yeah, buy, it just charges up for a while, and then you can teach it. So I can teach it to either of these two. I need to, um, level up Caterpie. I'm actually not sure how effective, um, Pidgey's gonna be. Um, in Mount Moon, where there's more rock Pokemon. That's where we'll be headed next. Uh, well, not immediately. I mean, I don't think I even ever made it there in Pokemon Yellow. That's how sad that Let's Play was. Uh, let's actually stock up on 
on, um, what do we need to stock up on? Let's buy one Pokeball. It doesn't tell you how many you have here, though. No. Why does it reset your arrow all the time? I don't know. Don't, don't judge me. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go on. Let's see, what's this? Notice! These have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. Because, um, Officer Jesse, not Officer Jesse, um, Officer. Oh yeah, we're not at Mount Moon yet. We're fighting some trainers. Uh, I can train up, um, Pidgey here, I guess. Then again, they're probably really strong. You look at me, didn't you? Battle! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I could just switch Pidgey out for a while. Oh, this is gonna be epic. And I'm faster, so that, 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 that. So, so the... Wow, fuck you. How do you know Sand Attack? Ah, uh, I think I caught it. They're crappy. No, come on, come on, get lucky, get lucky. I am up all night to get lucky. Come on, if you just do it, come on, come on. Thank you. Hit you won't last again. Ah, uh, shoot. Hit you won't last. As long as this Pidgey doesn't crit me, I can get lucky. Because lowering your accuracy and uh, lowering his busyness is two different things. Or wait, no. Yeah. Or wait, no, or lowering your, um... Or heightening his busyness. Bro, if you just keep doing that. That's fine. Remember when I did something like this? I did this to Brock. I spammed Sand Attack in Pokemon Yellow, and I di miraculously won. I used everyone up as a meat shield until I ran out of potions, but I wasted all my money on. Wow, Pidgey, you're doing nice. Yeah, th th all your stats reset um, to what they are, depending on your level. I mean, because you looked at me and challenged me, so I don't know how I'm the main one uh, after the battle. So. Very good. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Did you? Bug catcher. Ah, uh, okay. Caterpie, let's kill this Caterpie. Probably intimidated by me. I gotta train mine, though. This is probably not the place to do it. I should probably go back to Route 2. I'll do that off screen. Uh, and then I'll, I guess I'll start the next episode with Evolving. Oh please, you're pathetic. Of course, if I get crit, Pidgey's done. Ah, oh, level 11 though. I'm. I mean, with how much I leveled up, uh. Squirtle, I guess this is only fair. But Caterpie. Go for it. Ah, that's poison! See, um, every turn, um, I take some damage. This is why I'm not gonna. Oh shoot! Come on. Ah, no point though. Come on, I can kill it right here and right now. Yeah. But the other thing about it, uh, if you have another Pokemon out though, this Pokemon won't take damage though. So I'm gonna actually change out to uh, my Caterpie. No, bad idea. Of course, it won't get EXP now. That doesn't really count. Huh. Really? Does Bubble do more? Or does this guy just have a lot of defense? Huh, interesting. Didn't really expect that. What the heck? It's varying! I didn't get a crit last time with the bubble, did I? I don't know. Don't, don't level up. Okay, so let's say, uh, it doesn't have a progress bar for leveling up anymore, so, uh, but yeah, the interesting thing, 
Yeah, every time you see that, uh, Pidgey uh, slowly deteriorates. So, um, I so I could just, I don't care if he dies, I could just get to, um, since he has only 7 HP now, um, I probably couldn't get to the Pokemon Center before it. And if they faint, they lose happiness, and sometimes they might not even obey you. Not sure if that works in this game. But yeah, uh, the antidote sure is your poison. So yeah, there's that. So, uh, that's, I think that's about enough for today. Um, I'll, I'm gonna train Caterpie off screen, so the next episode with him evolving into Metapod, and then I'll probably cut away again until he becomes Butterfree, just to even them out with all my other Pokemon. Then I might never use him again. Because, uh, some Pokemon here are tough. Or I could wait till I get to wild Pokemon on this path when he becomes Metapod. Uh, but yeah, I'm not Crash at Jeff, and I'll see you guys next time when I'll decide about that. See you guys then.